I really want these shadows to pop, I'm going to use a white base. This is from Wet n Wild. I'll leave everything in the description bar. And I'm just going to kind of smooth that in and use a white shadow to set the base. Now I really wanted to go for like more of an icy color so I'm using grays, blues, and purples. So for a transition I'm just taking this gray color from this NYX palette and using that as a transition color. And next for my crease I'm going to be using this purple shade and just blending that in. For my lid I'm going to be using this NYX glitter primer. I'm just applying that to the back of my hand and applying that with a small brush and then I'm going to use a different brush to apply the glitter. It's important when you're using um, glitter to use like a small brush. It just allows for more precision when it comes to like working with glitter. It's a little bit more forgiving and you're less likely to mess up. Now to get the scaly look for a mermaid, you can either use fishnets or you can use an onion bag like I did. I just cut the onion bag up and wrapped it in my ponytail so that way it was a little bit tighter and the lines would show up more. It was easier to work with. So I'm first starting off with the purple shade. I started dark and then went lighter and then I'm using this blue shade from a wet and wild palette and I just went over it making sure that I'm stamping it on. It's important to stamp versus kind of to try to blend just because you want to make sure that those lines stay in place and then after the blue shade I go into gray and white and for white I wanted the white to pop a little bit more so I ended up using the wet and wild stick as well and I'm glad that I used it because it did make the white pop a little bit more since the white wasn't so vibrant Now this look is so easy as far as like where to put the scales you just put them where you want I decided to put them where I would normally contour and all my cheekbones I decided to do the same thing go dark with the purple blue gray and then white. And ta-da this is what it looked like after I took off the onion bag look how cool it looks it looks nice and scaly it looks cool. Um, you can really just have fun with it and play around use different colors if you want I really like how I chose like the purple and blues I did also decide to do my neck as well the onion bag didn't stay in place as well because I kept moving my neck up and down to look in the mirror for my inner corner I used this wet and wild glitter and I also used it for my brow bones as well usually for my lower lash line whatever I do to my top I just reverse it on my lower lash line but I went in with the purple that I used on the top and then I decided to go in with a liquid lipstick which you'll see in a little bit because I just went ahead and jumped to my lips. This isn't the lipstick that I'm using for my liner by the way. This is a NYX liquid suede lipstick. I love these. I actually have two of these in the same color. Um, it's a nice pretty like cool tone gray and then I ended up putting glitter on top of it. I used the NYX blue and purple glitter um, and the NYX glitter adhesive to put it all together. As you guys can see I'm kind of jumping around here but with this look I was just going with whatever came to my mind so that's why you kind of see me jumping around but I'm trying to like put it in the right order when I'm doing this voiceover so hope you guys don't mind. Now I used the purple glitter on my lid but then I went in with the blue glitter and put it on my outer corner just to kind of make it smoky. I didn't like just the purple. So here I am now using the glitter on my lips. Well first the glitter adhesive and then I put the blue glitter on the outer part of my lip and then I put the purple one on the center. I was really going for this like ice queen mermaid and it just wasn't blue and purple enough so I took this wet and wild blue purple liner and actually just put it over my eyebrows. I wanted to use it. It was such a pretty color so I'm like how can I use this? I didn't think it would show up on my eyes so I'm like let me just put it on my eyebrows because my eyebrows are too dark so I really like how it turned out. And then in that same liner but in black, I just used that to line my lids. Now my nose was looking kind of bare. I wanted to do something with it so I decided to like contour it with the onion bag with 
the scaling look so I used the bright blue and then to kind of like highlight the bridge of my nose I went with white all the products found in this video can be found at your local CVS and thank you to CVS for partnering with me when it came to this video. Also, if you guys decide to recreate any mermaid look, I'd love to see your spin on it. Be sure to tag me on Instagram at Christina Skiblo.